now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. When I take a critical examination of this frenzy that some black people are going into over this chicken sandwich being sold at Popeye's that is now sold out, it really paints a very disturbing picture as related to the Afro-American Negro. And the reason why it paints a very disturbing picture as related to the Afro-American Negro is because it shows how little self-esteem the Afro-American Negro has. Now, when it comes down to this chicken sandwich, the price may be $3.99 or $4.99 on the Popeye's menu, but it's clear that many black people are willing to sacrifice far more to get a taste of a chicken sandwich. And what they sacrifice is things as related to the intangibles of their manhood and their womanhood, which should have far more value than one of these chicken sandwiches. Because when you see someone literally standing in line outside of a store for hours to get a chance to taste a chicken sandwich, it shows you how little dignity that group of people actually have. Because for someone to sacrifice their dignity all to get a chicken sandwich shows you how little self-esteem many of these Afro-American Negroes have as related to this chicken sandwich. Do you see any white people standing in line going to go out here to wait for a chicken sandwich at a fast food restaurant? Do you see any Hispanic people standing in line waiting for a, fat, a chicken sandwich outside of a fast food restaurant? Do you see any Asian people or Arab people? No, you don't. And the reason why you don't see any of those people standing in line for a chicken sandwich outside of a fast food restaurant is because they understand the value of their intangibles and they understand that when it comes down to something like a fast food sandwich, there are things far more valuable than that chicken sandwich and that if they don't get an opportunity to try it now, they may possibly get an opportunity to try it later. Unfortunately, when it comes down to some members of the Afro-American Negro community, they don't understand the value of their intangibles. And this is why they will stand in line for hours outside of a fast food restaurant to try to get a chance to taste some chicken sandwich that has been frozen, processed, and shipped to that fast food restaurant, prepared by some low-wage worker, and then assembled very quickly and sloppily, and believe that this sloppily prepared chicken sandwich has more value than what are their intangibles, such as their things related to their character, such as their dignity, and their self-respect, and they're willing to sacrifice their dignity and self-respect all to get a chicken sandwich. Now, what's even more troubling than people sacrificing their dignity to stand outside to get one of these chicken sandwiches is people, again, sacrificing their self-respect as they wait to get this chicken sandwich. And some of these Afro-American Negroes, as they wait for this chicken sandwich, because they lack discipline and patience and self-control, they get emotional and they want to start taking out their frustrations out on the fast food workers in these restaurants. Now, many of these fast food workers, they are doing the best they can as related to the demand, but that doesn't relate to the Afro-American Negro's lack of discipline because he gets into a frenzy as related to his emotions because this chicken sandwich isn't just a sandwich. This chicken sandwich is a piece of social currency and this Negro needs this piece of social currency so that he can be in with the cool people. Now what's really troubling about being in with the cool people is that he's willing to again sacrifice his intangible, such as his dignity and his self-respect, all for a chicken sandwich that he will eat in less than five minutes 
and then defecate in eight hours. So he's willing to sacrifice his dignity and his self-respect in these fast food restaurants, getting argumentative, getting loud, and even getting into fights with fast food workers, all because he wants to get that piece of social currency. And that social currency has next to no value because social currency is not a wealth-building asset. And that's the really troubling thing about this whole frenzy over this chicken sandwich, is that you have all of these black people in their feelings about a chicken sandwich, and they're not thinking about things as related to economics. Because your Popeyes is going to make several hundred million dollars off of this chicken sandwich at the expense of black people, and this white-owned corporation is getting rich off the black dollar, and the black people in the community were the ones who made this sandwich so popular that it literally sold out in two weeks due to them creating a campaign on social media. But those same black people, they can't think to use that same social media to build up their own businesses out here and promote their own businesses and enrich the people in their own community. That's the really disturbing thing about this whole Popeye's chicken sandwich thing is that black people could go out here and use this great powerful tool of social media and they could use it to build up some white person's corporate business but they won't use that same tool to build up a black one. It's no different than the same frenzy that many of these Negroes got into with Black Panther in 2018. Many of these same Negroes got into such a frenzy over that Black Panther movie that they literally made that movie four or five hundred million dollars and made Disney rich at their own expense. And what's really sad is many of these Negroes have not learned a lesson from Black Panther, and they fell for the same okie doke one mo gim with this Popeye's chicken sandwich. And it really shows how deeply troubled many in this black community are as related to economics, that they would go out of their way to take money out of their own community, it's all so that they could have a piece of social currency, and they could be in with the in crowd, and that the in crowd and being cool has more value with black people than having economic power over their own community. So they'll go out of their way to spend money on movies and chicken sandwiches, but they won't put a single dollar into a black-owned business. Now, I often wonder as a black business owner, what if black people were to take these resources like social media and put them into something like an SJS Direct imprint, it could have a major impact on the black community because we are picking money from your own community and investing it in your own people, which will allow business owners like myself to go out here and hire more black people. Unfortunately, most black people are spellbound and they want that social currency that they believe will get them validation and approval from white people. And they're willing to sacrifice, again, their dignity and self-respect to do it. And what's really more embarrassing about them willing to sacrifice their dignity and self-respect uh, is the fact that many of these black people, they will go out here and get into fights over this chicken sandwich, but they won't get that passionate about black-owned business. They're literally willing to make a fool out of themselves and literally compromise their intangibles to the point where they're fighting in a fast food restaurant over something as trivial or as a chicken sandwich. And this is perfectly fine for the Afro-American Negro, but they don't have that same passion for their own community, and they don't have that same understanding that them sacrificing their dignity, self-respect, self-worth, this is something that you just don't do for a chicken sandwich, because when you, sac when you go out here 
and you fight over a chicken sandwich and you're literally getting into brawls in fast food restaurants attacking fast food workers all this is doing is breathing brand new life into old racist stereotypes from the antebellum and Jim Crow South about how black people are so obsessed with fried chicken that they would literally fight over fried chicken because that's what racist white nationalists and white supremacists say about black people that they're willing to do anything for a piece of fried chicken and here we have all of these afro-american negroes out here fighting over this fried chicken literally putting on a modern day minstrel show for everyone to see and again for these racist white supremacists and white nationalists to get free entertainment at the expense of the black community because every time they see a video whether it be on YouTube world star hip-hop or any of these uh, social media sites all that is doing is giving all of these white racists the image that they want to see of black people giving them that free entertainment and proving their very points about how many in the black community are and how many in the black community behave and that's what's the most embarrassing thing about this whole Popeye's chicken sandwich frenzy is seeing black people actively going out to breathe brand new life into old stereotypes about black people having very little discipline very little self-control and literally being so crazy over a piece of fried chicken that they're willing to do anything to get it including sacrificing all of those principles I have numerously repeatedly hammered in this video because I want people to understand the value of dignity the value of self-respect the value of self-worth because these intangibles they are so valuable that you do not sacrifice them for any reason and you do not sacrifice them because these are things related to your character and if you have great character you understand you un that there are things far more valuable than a chicken sandwich if a place is out of a chicken sandwich you just find something else and if you know how to cook you know you can do way better than a Popeye's chicken sandwich as someone who knows how to cook in the kitchen I know I could make a better chicken sandwich than Popeye's I know that the resources are out there you can get a brioche roll at any high-end supermarket like a fairway and you can even get it at some local markets and all you have to do is learn how to toast those buns learn how to pound out your own chicken learn how to put your own spices dredge and bread your own chicken and you can make a sandwich that is far superior to any fast food restaurant and you can make something that has value to you because it has distinct flavor distinct taste and it shows how much skill you have in the kitchen because as a cook myself I can make the same chicken sandwich or even a better chicken sandwich than anything from Popeyes and with all those tools there this is what black people need to understand about finding value in self because when you have value in self you understand that there are things far more worth than anything produced at some mass market fast food franchise restaurant if you'd like to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal or my cash app by clicking the link in the description box and if you want to try some of my books in the SJS Direct imprint like the ISIS series, the E-Steam series, the John Haynes series, the Spencerella trilogy or my men's issues books you may do so by clicking the link to amazon.com in the description box that's all I have to say for this video you can comment, rate and subscribe now available in paperback and e-readers Spinsterella discover the dark side of love in this goth and lovely romance with Spinsterella get Spinsterella in paperback and e-readers at your favorite online bookseller today